Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I am going to be sharing a collective dollar haul. And it's all things that I purchased for a dollar from different places, like the Dollar Tree, then also my uh, trip to the Japanese Dollar Tree while I was in Japan, the Target Dollar Spot, and just home goods. So let's get started. So I picked up three pairs of these moisturizing gloves from the Japanese Dollar Tree. Now we have these at our Dollar Tree, but the difference is we don't have the ones that have the texting ability on the fingers. So this is what it looks like on, and it has the, you know, material on there that you can actually still text while in bed while you're moisturizing your hands. I also picked up a pair of these moisturizing socks and basically you put them on and they keep your heels moisturized at night. They also have the little grip pads on the bottom so you won't slide around or fall. I love these. I've actually been using them already. Picked up two pair. I picked up these two little white ceramic scoops and I'll be using this in my kitchen in one of the spice jars. I picked up four of these ceramic, you know, rectangle plates. And these are great for, like, my family loves to eat sushi. You can put any, you know, sushi, any kind of, you know, hors d'oeuvres, snacks, appetizers on here. So I thought these were perfect. I picked up several of these blinged out little knobs, but they're knobs with a flat back and I've been searching high and low for these and couldn't find them. But what I'm actually going to be doing with these, if you recall from years ago when I kept saying I'm doing my craft room, I reuse and repurpose these uh, wafer uh, containers. They're really cute. So I'm going to spray paint those and actually affix the little bling at the top and then these will make really cute dainty jars. I also picked up three of these cute little uh, miniature jelly jars and these will be cute for individual servings for breakfast in bed. Also along the lines with breakfast in bed, this little container of fresh milk and this is, you know, to put on your tray for coffee if you want to put milk in your coffee or your tea. I also picked up a chalk box and I already put my chalk in and I keep this upstairs in the kitchen desk drawer because I do have a large chalkboard sign in our parlor room. I picked up this scrub brush and I liked it because it had so many different little angles where you could clean all various ways in different tough spots. So it goes all the way around then up at the top and then at the end it also has a little scrub, you know, scrub bristle. I picked up this waterproof cell phone case and these are great for my daughter when she goes away to sleep away camp and to the beach and to the pool and all those different activities during the summertime. I picked up the super cute Hello Kitty earphone case and inside I picked up two of them one for my daughter and one for me and inside it has a cute little Hello Kitty hair bow and you just wrap the cord around it. I picked up this nifty little contraption. It is a wrist cushion. You slide your wrist through the bottom and it keeps your arm, you know, cushioned while you're using the mouse at the computer. I picked up this ironing mitt and you just stick your hand in there and get those hard to reach creases when you're trying to iron. I was super duper excited when I found this because I had been looking for something like this for quite a while and it's a wooden paper towel stand and what I'm going to be using this for is a bagel stand for my to-go breakfast station and I will share with you exactly how that will look um, you know so stay tuned I don't want to give all of the details away I picked up two of these clear hard iPhone uh, 6s cases a few more organizational items I picked up the CD case I like these because they all had you know uh, jackets to them like sleeves so you just take them out of the jacket and I need to store some of our um, different uh, CDs to our computers and then this one over here it's not a CD case I don't know exactly I think it's a picture you know a photo binder but what I'm actually going to be using it for is to store my tags and things like tags and stickers and things that I use for wrapping gifts I needed to find a way to organize my ever-growing collection of these little Scandis cards for filming and taking pictures for my YouTube videos. This side will be for all of my Very Carry chips that I'm working on currently. And then this side will be for all of my, Tom, uh, my new channel, Tommy's Online, and all the chips will be in there. And I can just carry this around in my little, uh, you know, work bag. 
Now, I also needed a way to archive all of the older chips that I've used since I've started YouTube. So what I plan to do, I picked up these. I have enough for 100. They come 20 to a slot, so I picked up five pages of these so I would have room to grow. And I'm going to take each one of my scan discs, you know, put a date and label them. So use my label maker and kind of, you know, just say what's on each one and then put these in a binder and then I can go back to them for reference. And then finally, I picked up several different sizes of the fabric boxes. And this one is a, you know, short rectangular one. This one's a little bit wider. And I love the fact that they had black there. And this final one is one that has a lid. So here is what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. The first item are these inflatable boot shapers. So I guess you blow these up and you stick them inside of your boots. I don't necessarily like the color. They don't match my daughter's uh, room scheme. But if they work, I probably will just cover them with a sock or a piece of material. I also picked up a pair of trouser socks for my daughter. Then I picked up several of these Valentine's Day like socks and foot liners for the girls uh, you know Valentine's Day packages that I send them or make for them I thought these were awesome this is the first time I've seen these in the Dollar Tree they are your normal elastic hair ties but they made them a little bit longer so it could accommodate for thicker hair so I picked up three packs of these it is a paint can lid cover so you stick it on your paint can and it has a spout on it for easy pouring I plan on doing a, a few painting projects around my home this year I also picked up two packages of the utility knives these are very hard to find in my Dollar Trees and we have been going through these like hot cakes ever since I started the Tommy's business we have to cut open our boxes for inventory and assembly and things like that so this comes in handy here's an old faithful item I always pick this up from the Dollar Tree and I pour this in my garbage can just to keep you know all the odors at bay my kitchen garbage and the bathroom garbages and I picked up this notepad how cute is that it just says hustling all day every day and if you guys been following me on Instagram you know my word for 2017 is hustle so I'm hustling every day so I thought this was perfect and then they also had another pad in there that just had different sayings on it. It says, needed it yesterday, do it today, for reals. Um, meh, maybe tomorrow, and then sometime in the near future. And this item here actually came from the Target dollar spot. It's just a little desk calendar. You sit it down in a, you know, holder. And I liked it because these little Dalmatian spots, that's going to be my theme in my office now this was the first year ever that I was not able to go out and catch all of the Christmas uh, after Christmas sales because I was so busy with work so by the time I actually got around to being able to step foot in a store all that was left were napkins so I got a plethora of napkins for one dollar from home goods and that's pretty much the extent to um, my after Christmas shopping are these really cute napkins that you know can actually go with other items that are not Christmas related I was also able to snag several rolls of wrapping paper only one of them is a Christmas wrapping paper and this polka dot one can be used you know all year round and it was marked down to one dollar and this one here is actually a Christmas one I think it says plums trim the tree and what I like about it is it's peach gray and mint green and those are the colors of my craft room and I saw these cute little salt and pepper shakers in Walmart on clearance for a dollar and it says hate is gonna hate and then this one over here is a Christmas themed one it has the reindeer on it and it's a faint silver metallic and that was a dollar and finally one of the items that I wanted to get this past season when it went on clearance was the Timeless Joy Glade scent I was absolutely loving that scent I totally missed all of the sales and last week a package shows up on my doorstep filled with all of the Glade products. My girl Melanie over living luxuriously for this was able to snag all these Glade products for me. And I think she said she got them for 25 cents each. 
I was so elated and I included it in this haul because this haul is all things for a dollar or less and either on Instagram or a future video I will share with you what Melanie picked me up for our after Christmas uh, gift exchange each year we exchange gifts with each other but it's after Christmas until next time I'm going to keep calm and carry on bye guys